Uh, Carly, I just want to start off, you know, after, you know, the game was done, I couldn't help but notice that you were very emotional. I'm assuming mm-hmm. that was your parents that you were there crying with. Just kind of what was going through your head? What did it mean for you to score your first, your first goal with them mm-hmm. and just, you know, be here in Eugene? Um, well, this is my first time being able to, like, get on the field for the team and, like, contribute. So that was huge in itself. And just to score and, like, celebrate with the team was amazing. And I looked over and I could hear my mom, like, cheering for me. So just being able, like, to have them here to support me was just so emotional just to celebrate with them because I know, like, they're my number one fan and they're happy for me. So What was going through your mind when you scored that goal? Um, I was a bit shocked. I scored and I was just like, oh, my gosh, like, no way that just happened. And I just... I don't know, I didn't have time to really like think about it. I was just being like hugged by my teammates and best feeling, best feeling. What was the weight like though with the VAR? Was that nerve-wracking? Oh my gosh, that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> I mean, I would have been like pretty happy in itself just to be able to like have that experience, but when it was, it was a bit nerve-wracking, but when they um, confirmed that it was a goal, then I was, oh, yeah. the feeling stayed. Did your parents fly in just for the game? Yeah, so I'm from Hawaii, so it's kind of a far travel. So for them to be here and like, be able to support me is so huge and yeah. Are they just here for a while or for the season? Or? Um, So our games are like pretty close together. So they went to our past game against Seattle U and then they were able to like stay the weekend through this game and they leave tomorrow morning. So, yeah. You gave a wave to the crowd. Was, was it your family? Who you were yeah, I was looking at my mom and my dad. Yeah. You guys How had to did... be a little patient before breaking through the other night. Do you think even that experience just a couple nights ago helped kind of stick with it tonight, today, and maybe not press and know that if you kept after it, you guys would break through? Yeah, I mean, um, we had a great win against Seattle U, and I think that momentum and that drive just helped us push through, like, this game. And um, we came out with the win, and we played really well. Early in the season, and... Uh, just second game and had preseason. How do you feel like since you first got here in Eugene to now? How much do you feel like you've um, grown as a player? Mm-hmm. I feel like I've grown a lot. Like to be around like these many like talented players and people, and um, just being welcomed into the team. It was it was so amazing. Like just to have this opportunity. Like I'm so blessed, and I can't wait for the rest of the season and how far we'll go. What did your time in Hawaii just do for you, confidence wise? Obviously, you were a two time Gatorade Player of the Year. You're mm-hmm. coming to obviously a Power Five conference in Oregon. Did you kind of bring that with you from Hawaii, and what is that? transition over the last couple of months been like for you here? Mm-hmm. Um, Hawaii soccer, there's a lot of talented players there, so just being able to train with them and prepare, and I have lots of good coaching staff and support back at home, so in the months leading up to coming here, I feel like I was well prepared and just being able to like translate the soccer and this t- type of style and represent people from home, and it is good. How much of a change was it for you, not only culturally and weather-wise, but just the style of play and you know the level of play from high school to college? Um, I'd say it definitely cooked and it's a lot more intense, but that's why I'm here and to be challenged and just be able to have this opportunities. What about the differences Amazing. between Hawaii and Eugene? Uh-huh. Have you gone kind of used to that? Just like the weather, the city, what is, what is your time here been like? Well, the weather isn't, right now, it's really nice. So I'd say that, although it rained and it stormed yesterday, so that was a bit of a switch up. But Did that feel like Hawaii maybe? Um, no, not really. <laughs> a bit of a switch up, but I don't mind. And I, I like the weather and the culture and just like the team and the coaching staff. So it feels like I have a family here too, so.